Question 1. When driving in heavy rain, what should you do to avoid hydroplaning? A. Accelerate quickly. B. Maintain a consistent speed. C. Slow down. Answer. C. Slow down. Reducing speed in heavy rain can prevent hydroplaning where the tires lose contact with the road surface. Question 2. True or false? It is legal to use your cell phone when stopped at a red light. Answer. False. In British Columbia, it is illegal to use a handheld cell phone while driving, which includes when stopped at a red light. Question 3. When you see a school bus with its red lights flashing, what must you do? A. Pass cautiously. B. Stop. C. Honk to alert the bus driver. Answer. B. Stop. When a school bus has its red lights flashing, it indicates that children are boarding or alighting, and you must stop. Question 4. If you are involved in a crash, what information should you exchange with the other drivers? A. Name and phone number. B. Name, address, driver's license number, and insurance details. C. Only your name. Answer. B. Name, address, driver's license number, and insurance details. It's important to exchange comprehensive information for insurance purposes. Question 5. What does a flashing yellow light at an intersection signify? A. Stop. B. Proceed with caution. C. The traffic light is out of order. Answer. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means you should slow down and proceed carefully through the intersection. Question 6. What should you do if you begin to skid on an icy road? A. Slam on the brakes. B. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. C. Steer in the direction you want to go. Answer. C. Steer in the direction you want to go. This is known as steering into the skid and can help regain control of the vehicle. Question 7. True or false? You can make a right turn on a red light after coming to a complete stop unless a sign prohibits it. Answer. True. In British Columbia, right turns on red are permitted after a complete stop unless otherwise indicated. Question 8. When parallel parking, how far from the curb should you be? A. Within 12 inches, 30 centimeters. B. Within 20 inches, 50 centimeters. C. Within 6 inches, 15 centimeters. Answer. A. Within 12 inches, 30 centimeters. This is the legal requirement in British Columbia to ensure smooth traffic flow and pedestrian safety. Question 9. In what situation are you allowed to pass another vehicle on the right? A. When the vehicle is making a left turn. B. On a one-way street. C. Both A. And B. Answer. C. Both A. And B. It is permitted to pass on the right when a vehicle is turning left or on a one-way street with multiple lanes. Question 10. What is the correct following distance under ideal conditions? A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 3 seconds. Answer. C. 3 seconds. The 3 second rule provides a safe following distance under ideal conditions. Question 11. True or false? It's okay to exceed the speed limit when passing another vehicle. Answer. False. You should not exceed the speed limit while passing. Question 12. What should you do if an emergency vehicle with flashing lights approaches while you were driving? A. Speed up and get out of the way. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Continue driving at the same speed. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. This allows the emergency vehicle to pass safely. Question 13. In a roundabout, who has the right of way? A. Vehicles entering the roundabout. B. Vehicles already in the roundabout. C. Pedestrians. Answer. B. Vehicles already in the roundabout. Vehicles entering must yield to traffic already circulating. Question 14. When can you use the high occupancy vehicle, HOV, lane? A. Anytime, if you're in a hurry. B. When you meet the minimum occupancy requirements. C. Only during off-peak hours. Answer. B. 
when you meet the minimum occupancy requirements, HOV lanes are designed to encourage carpooling. Question 15, true or false? You must always stop for a pedestrian at a crosswalk. Answer, true. Pedestrians have the right of way at crosswalks and vehicles must stop. Question 16, how should you respond to a traffic signal with a flashing red light? A. Proceed with caution. B. Treat it as a yield sign. C. Treat it as a stop sign. Answer. C. Treat it as a stop sign. A flashing red light means you must come to a complete stop and proceed when safe. Question 17. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration, BAC? Limit for fully licensed drivers in British Columbia. A. 0.8%. B. 0.5%. C. 0.0%. Answer. A. 0.8%. However, penalties can start at a BAC of 0.5%. Question 18. Under what circumstances can you use your horn? A. To signal other drivers for no specific reason. B. To express frustration. C. To warn others of your presence. Answer. C. To warn others of your presence. The horn should be used for safety purposes only. Question 19. What should you do when approaching a yellow traffic light? A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Proceed with caution. C. Stop if it is safe to do so. Answer. C. Stop if it is safe to do so. A yellow light means the signal is about to turn red. Question 20. True or false? It is legal to drive with just your parking lights on at night. Answer. False. At night, you must use your regular headlights for visibility. Question 21. If two drivers arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, who has the right of way? A. The driver on the left. B. The driver on the right. C. The driver going straight. Answer. B. The driver on the right. The right of way rule applies here. Question 22. When is it legal to make a U turn? A. At intersections with traffic lights. B. On a curve or near the crest of a hill. C. In areas where it is prohibited by a sign. Answer. A. At intersections with traffic lights, provided it is not prohibited by a sign. Question 23. True or false? You should always drive in the left lane on a multi-lane road. Answer. False. The left lane is generally for passing. Keep right except to pass. Question 24. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A. Lane changing is encouraged. B. It separates lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. C. It separates lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. Answer. B. It separates lanes of traffic moving in the same direction and crossing it is discouraged. Question 25. How should you react to a pedestrian with a white cane at a crosswalk? A. Continue driving. They will wait. B. Honk to let them know you're there. C. Stop and give them the right of way. Answer. C. Stop and give them the right of way. The white cane indicates the pedestrian may be visually impaired. Question 26. True or false? You are allowed to park in front of a driveway. Answer. False. Blocking a driveway is illegal. Question 27. When can you legally drive in a bike lane? A. When traffic is slow. B. When turning right. C. Never. Answer. B. When turning right. You can cross a bike lane when making a turn, but otherwise should stay out of it. Question 28. What should you do if you miss your exit on a highway? A. Make a U-turn immediately. B. Reverse on the highway. C. Continue to the next exit. Answer. C. Continue to the next exit. It is dangerous to reverse or make a U-turn on a highway. Question 29. True or false? You must always signal when changing lanes. Answer. True. Signaling alerts other drivers to your intentions and is required by law. Question 30. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? A. Accelerate. B. 
brake hard. C. Ease off the gas and steer straight. Answer. C. Ease off the gas and steer straight. This can help regain traction. Question 31. When is it legal to exceed the speed limit? A. Never. B. When passing another vehicle. C. When late for an appointment. Answer. A. Never. Speed limits are the maximum legal speeds under ideal conditions. Question 32. True or false? You can make a left turn at a red light from a one-way street onto another one-way street. Answer. True. This is permitted unless otherwise indicated by a sign. Question 33. What does a flashing green light indicate? A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Protected left turn. C. Yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. B. Protected left turn. It signals that you can safely turn left without oncoming traffic. Question 34. What should you do if you are being tailgated? A. Brake sharply to warn the other driver. B. Increase your speed. C. Gradually slow down and allow the vehicle to pass. Answer. C. Gradually slow down and allow the vehicle to pass. This can diffuse a potentially dangerous situation. Question 35. True or false? It is mandatory to stop for a school patrol stop sign. Answer. True. You must stop for school patrol signs just as you would for a regular stop sign. Question 36. What does a yellow diamond-shaped sign with a black symbol indicate? A. No entry. B. Caution or warning. C. Regulatory instruction. Answer. B. Caution or warning. These signs are meant to alert drivers to potential hazards or changes in road conditions. Question 37. If you approach an intersection with a non-operational traffic signal, how should you proceed? A. As if the intersection is uncontrolled. B. With increased speed to avoid congestion. C. Wait for someone to direct traffic. Answer. A. As if the intersection is uncontrolled. Treat it as a four-way stop if there are stop signs or as a yield if there are no signs. Question 38. True or false? You should use high beams in foggy conditions to see better. Answer. False. High beams can reflect off the fog and actually reduce visibility. Use low beams instead. Question 39. What does a solid yellow line on your side of the road indicate? A. Passing is permitted. B. Passing is prohibited. C. Lane is reversing direction. Answer. B. Passing is prohibited. A solid yellow line means you should not cross it to pass. Question 40. How should you react to a flashing red traffic light? A. Stop and proceed when safe. B. Yield to traffic. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. A. Stop and proceed when safe. A flashing red light functions like a stop sign. Question 41. True or false? You must yield to buses re-entering traffic from a bus stop. Answer. True. In British Columbia, drivers are required to yield to buses signaling to re-enter the flow of traffic. Question 42. What is the safe distance to park from a fire hydrant? A. 5 meters. B. 10 meters. C. 15 meters. Answer. A. 5 meters. Parking closer than this can hinder emergency services. Question 43. When do you need to yield to a transit bus in British Columbia? A. Only during rush hours. B. Whenever it signals to enter your lane. C. Never it should yield to you. Answer. B. Whenever it signals to enter your lane. This rule helps buses move more efficiently. Question 44. True or false? You can turn left across a single set of solid double yellow lines. Answer. True. Double solid yellow lines do not prohibit left turns. Question 45. What does it mean if a cyclist raises their left arm and bends it upwards at the elbow? A. The cyclist is turning left. B. The cyclist is turning right. C. The cyclist is stopping. Answer. B. The cyclist is turning right. 
This is the correct hand signal for a right turn. Question 46. In British Columbia, what is the default speed limit in urban areas unless otherwise posted? A. 30 kilometers per hour. B. 50 kilometers per hour. C. 60 kilometers per hour. Answer. B. Kilometers per hour. This is the standard limit unless signs indicate otherwise. Question 47. True or false? You can legally consume alcohol in a parked vehicle. Answer. False. It is illegal to consume alcohol in a vehicle, even if it is parked. Question 48. When should you use your vehicle's horn? A. To greet friends. B. When you're angry at other drivers. C. To warn others of your presence in an emergency. Answer. C. To warn others of your presence in an emergency. The horn should only be used for safety reasons. Question 49. What should you do if you are involved in a minor collision with no injuries? A. Wait for police to arrive. B. Move your vehicle off the road if possible. C. Drive away quickly. Answer. B. Move your vehicle off the road if possible. This helps prevent further congestion and accidents. Question 50. True or false? It is acceptable to make a U-turn in the middle of a block in a residential area. Answer. True. Unless signs prohibit it, U-turns are allowed in residential areas between intersections. Question 51. When parking uphill with a curb, in which direction should you turn your wheels? A. Away from the curb. B. Towards the curb. C. Straight ahead. Answer. A. Away from the curb. This ensures that if your vehicle rolls, it will roll into the curb and stop. Question 52. True or false? You should use your mirrors to check your blind spots. Answer. False. Mirrors cannot fully cover your blind spots. You should physically turn your head to check them before changing lanes. Question 53. What is the minimum safe distance when following a motorcycle? A. 1 second. B. 2 seconds. C. 3 seconds. Answer. C. 3 seconds. Motorcycles require a greater following distance due to their ability to stop more quickly. Question 54. What should you do if you encounter wildlife on the road while driving? A. Try to scare them away with your horn. B. Speed up and pass them quickly. C. Slow down or stop until they have moved away. Answer. C. Slow down or stop until they have moved away. This is safer for both the animals and the drivers. Question 55. True or false? You can park in a space reserved for the disabled if you remain in the vehicle. Answer. False. These spaces are reserved for those with a valid disabled parking permit, regardless of whether the driver stays in the vehicle. Question 56. When is it necessary to use your headlights? A. One hour after sunset until one hour before sunrise. B. 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. C. From dusk until dawn. Answer. C. From dusk until dawn. Headlights are also required in poor visibility conditions. Question 57. What should you do when approaching a school bus with flashing red lights? A. Proceed with caution. B. Stop at least 6 meters away. C. Pass on the left. Answer. B. Stop at least 6 meters away. This rule is in place to protect children entering and exiting the bus. Question 58. True or false? It is illegal to drive while wearing headphones. Answer. True. Wearing headphones can distract you and prevent you from hearing important sounds like sirens or horns. Question 59. What is the correct action to take when exiting a freeway? A. Slow down before entering the exit ramp. B. Signal, then accelerate to merge with traffic on the exit ramp. C. Maintain highway speed until on the exit ramp, then slow down. Answer. C. Maintain highway speed until on the exit ramp, then slow down. This helps maintain the flow of traffic. Question 60. In a roundabout, who has the right of way? A. Vehicles already in the roundabout. B. Vehicles entering the roundabout. C. Pedestrians crossing the roundabout. Answer. A. 
Vehicles already in the roundabout always yield to traffic in the roundabout before entering. 